Hey everybody, all RC fun here with the Jeep SCX 10.3 Gladiator Search and Rescue Edition. And just gonna check out and see what the difference is on the tire foams. So in there I have the Robo Slug inserts uh, medium and uh, Hyrex tires. I think it's the orange compound. And then I have another set that is just stock. So see how these perform on this little uh, untried path. So trying it out as you're seeing it as I am. Pretty good. Get some good bites. Try a different angle. Nice. Activate the emergency lights just because that's fun. And we all are all all we are all RC fun here. Line up for a different approach. And then we'll swap the tires out and see what the other ones look like. Stock tire axis. Getting a little hung up there just because it's a bad line. Handling like a champ. All right. All right, so we're in here for a tire swap. Have the silver rims have the uh, robo slugs in them, and then the all black is just the standard high racks. Get them changed up, see what it looks like. And here you can kind of see the how squishy that is like a foam versus this guy who's uh, got a whole lot more sidewall strength. Uh, I think the best way we said it was more like an air filled tire um, than this one which you know can grip a ton. But, all right all right and we're back with the stock setup for the Hyrex tires with the uh, stock foams. Shift servos been going out, so not the tires, just the shift servo. All right, not too bad. Climbed over it pretty well. I'll try another angle. Of course, get my emergency lights back on because that's what I like. Try one coming at us. Centered a little bit. Try again. There we go. So they're both good. They um, have a different action. So if you can kind of see it on the back tire, it's squishing down on the sidewall where the robo slugs wouldn't do that. So it just depends on what you need, where you're at. You know, for me, right out here playing in the yard, uh, this is. This is perfectly fine, but you can kind of see how it's really squished down. If you need a lot of grip, if you're on a, you know, different kind of courses, uh, a lot of elevation changes or uh, steep angles, you know, the, the foams may be better. But for me, I'm, I'm liking the, at least the look of the robo slugs. Um, and as I use them more, I'll uh, be able to know more about the performance. Love to have it in low gear, but right now high gear is all that's working. Is that I only got a few minutes to. Try to get a little bit of stuff recorded so I can get this set up to video, uploaded. So yeah, you can see it's gripping there good with the front. Let's see what do we got? Timber. Now the rescuer needs rescuing. <laughs> Hand of God. <clears throat> yes, I. All right, let's give it another shot. How about um, this angle over here? Yeah, 
I think in like this situation, the the rugo slugs was really grabbing a lot better. Uh, it, it allows that sidewall to to really uh, act as a, a lot more grippage. Yeah, I ain't nothing I can do with that. Do something like that. <clears throat> As always, if you can, make yourself smile. Even better yet, make somebody else smile. And keep on tiny trucking. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, just wanted to give a little example of the Robo Slugs versus the stock Hyraxes and what they are each good at. Um, I'm by no means a, a competition type of person. I am an absolute fun haver, and whatever that means to you, whatever that means to me, anyway, all right, so all RC fun here saying, if you can, make yourself smile. Even better yet, make somebody else smile, and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Maybe from this angle, I can be a better driver. It does help me uh, see where the the big gaps are. Alright folks, that's it for today. See you next time.